Well, you guys got another video on how to transfer files from one computer to another. And we're going to be doing this over the network. It's very simple and easy to do. Quite a few people have asked for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video for you. I have made a video on this before, but I wanted to make an updated version just to show you a couple of different methods and options that you have available to you, whether you're on Wi-Fi or whether you're on Ethernet connection. But before we do that, let's just have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the link in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and you will get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they will send you your key and you can then go ahead and activate your version of Windows just like you see right here. Anyway, back to the tutorial. So we're starting off on computer one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to share a folder with content in it to our other computer on our network. Both computers or all computers need to be on the same network. You can go to this PC and click on network and you will see network discovery and file sharing are turned off. Network computers and devices are not visible. Click here to change now. Turn on network discovery file sharing. So that's what you want to do right here. Click on this and this box will pop up here. And you'll have two options available to you here. Either no, make the network that I am connected to private network. Uh, network discover file sharings will be turned on for private networks only. And then you have the yes, turn on the network discovery and file sharing for all public uh, network so depending on what option you want to choose here I'm going to choose the top option here and straight away because I have my NAS on the network it has become now visible uh, to me because I've allowed that option uh, for me so let's go ahead and quickly show you some of the other settings that you might need to change so go to the start button here and type control panel inside the search this will open up the control panel window make sure you're in category mode and we're going to go to network and internet here. So click on this one here. And then we're going to go to network and sharing center. Because this is where the important part is. Go to uh, the change adapter sharing settings. You also have your media sharing options right there as well. But we're going to go into this one right here. Under your private network or public network settings, you'll see these little sliders are turned on or off. These need to be on to be able to be discovered and how to be share your files and printing over the network, depending on whether you want to share them publicly or on the private network. Also, the password protection, I've turned that off as well. And on your Wi-Fi or Internet, I'm going to go for Ethernet here. You can see this is where your private network and your public network settings are. You can choose which option suits you. You can read all the information on the screen right here. But at the moment, we're on private network right here because we want to make our device discoverable on the network. And that's the option that we're going to be choosing right here. So before we go on to the second computer, what we're going to do here first is choose a file that we want to share over the network. So let's go to pictures here and look at this phone folder right here. There's some data inside here that I want to share across the network to my other computers. So let's go ahead and we're going to right click on this one right here. We're going to come down to show more options if you're on Windows 11. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look for give access to and it will be in this little context menu right here. Click on give access to specific people. Click on this one right here and you will see this window popping up, which is your network access. Use the drop down arrow and put everyone inside that option and click add. And this will add the everyone option available to us. At the moment, it's only on read. So we want to make sure it's on read and write so we can read and write to that folder, share files backwards and forwards. Here we now have our option right here. This is our network path. And we can now see by clicking on this, it will show us the network path here and all the files inside that folder. So basically just double click on it here. And this is it right here. This will be accessible on other computers on the same network with all the same uh, computer settings. So let's go ahead and quickly uh, have a look at the settings here. I just want to quickly show you the shared folder options available, the advanced shared folder options here. So let me click done here. And what we'll do is we'll right click on this folder one more time here. And what we'll do here is go show more options. 
and we'll go down to properties this time right down near the bottom here who we've already done give access to so let's go down to the uh, properties area and then you'll see sharing and inside sharing you can see we are sharing that folder but let's go advanced area here and share this folder and we can now go okay but let's quickly check the permissions and give it allow right here click apply and click OK. And now we've got read and write access to it and we're sharing that folder and we can now click close and that's now set. So now we can go over to our second computer here and we'll quickly configure that one. And it's pretty straightforward. You just have to repeat the same process. So let's go ahead and we're on computer two here. So we're gonna open up Explorer here. And if I go to network right here, click on this, you would have to go through the same settings, but this one has already been configured and you can already see that we now have access to our NAS and our other computer. When I click here, we can now see our phone folder and there's a little pipe under it, which means it's available on the network to other computers. And we have access to the files and content inside here. I can now drag and drop these onto the computer or copy and paste them onto the computer if I want to leave them where they are. And it's that simple and you can now access all this data across the network with all the computers and devices that you've set up and configured. Now, remember, all of the computers need to be on the same network and they have to need the same settings. So let me just quickly show you here that when we go into control panel here, I'm gonna quickly put control panel and we are inside category right here, go network and internet and network and sharing center and we're gonna to go to advanced uh, sharing settings here. Quickly open this up right here. And you can see here, all of the radio buttons and sliders have been put to on. You have to make sure these are on, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see uh, these folders and files on the network. And you can see on the private section, they are already set up. If they were off, you need to turn them on. It's that simple. And just follow the process that you did on the other computer and you'll be able to access all of your data via this method. Very simple and easy to do. And what we're gonna do here quickly is if I wanted to share a folder or file from this computer to my other computer, I'll just drop it into that network uh, folder there and that's it. So let me go back inside here, inside this phone one. You can also map a network drive to this PC by right clicking on it and going map network drive and give it a drive letter that you're not using and click finish and now we will see we've got access to it and in this pc you'll get a map network drive right here and you can set these up for different folders and stuff on your network it's very simple and easy to do now like i said before you can actually copy content from this computer and give access to it to computer one so we're on computer two here if you wanted to drop a file inside there so you can access it on computer one all you need to do here is open up this location and you can drag and drop it right into here. And now you'll be able to access that file from computer one. Very simple and easy to do. So that's how you can move files around on your network. Obviously, if they're big files, they are going to take a bit of time to copy across the network. But let's go ahead and show you another simple way to do it if you're using a Wi-Fi connection. So if you're using a Wi-Fi connection, and you want to share files, go to the settings panel on one of the computers, go to system and come down and you will see a option called nearby sharing. You'll see it's off at the moment, but this is for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi only. Enable this and everyone nearby and then basically go over to your other computer and then basically set that to everyone as well. So we're gonna go into the settings here but I'm on the Ethernet here, so it's not going to show up, but I'll show you exactly what will happen. So once you go to nearby sharing, go to everyone nearby, enable that feature. And now we've got it enabled on both computers. And if you're on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and they're turned on and you're connected on the same network, all you'd need to do here now is go to a file or folder that you want to share across. And I'll quickly show you that so you can see how this would work if you are sharing right click on a file and up on the top here now you will see share if you click on this one it's going to open up another box and you'll be able to see uh, the share feature so this is what you're going to see right here and you'll see nearby share 
your computer will suddenly appear right here. If you're on a Wi-Fi connection or you're connected to Bluetooth, you will then be able to click on that computer and it will appear on the other computer and you just accept that file and it will then copy that across the network via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. If you want to unshare a folder, you can right click on it, go to show more options and go to give access to and remove access and it will remove access for that person. If we go back into here now and you can go into the share and sharing uh, folder options here, you can see we are sharing the option here. It's now been removed and we can go to advanced sharing, remove this check mark and it will then stop sharing that content for the other people on the network. It's that simple. And if you want to reverse the share everyone or share nearby, you just remove that and turn it off and it will stop sharing nearby content uh, to those people. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. That's how easy it is to share files across the network, whether you're on Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection. As long as you're on the same network, it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now. Thank you.